So here is the Apple surprise, the AirPods Max. I managed to order them before the stock ran out. I've got the box right here, and it's rather a big one. So let's quickly unbox it and then talk about it. I've got a silver version of the headphones. I wanted the space gray, but this is what I got anyway. The package is very much a standard Apple box, easy to open up. Here it is. This is the headphone with its smart case. And yes, it's rather heavy at 350 grams, which is about 100 grams more than the Sony's XM4. It looks stylish. Design-wise, it's very unique and different from all other headphones in the market. It will stand out when you are out moving about. Then we have the regular paperwork and I don't see the standard Apple sticker here, which is okay. So this headphone uses a lightning port for charging with a USB Type-C port on the other end to plug into your power brick. I'm still not convinced about saving the environment argument from Apple yet. They should have used the Type-C charger out of the box. So, the design and build looks fantastic and the aluminium finish is the differentiator and contributes to the weight of these rather good looking headphones. It's very cool to the touch and they may end up getting scratches if you use it rough. The headband is also unique and made from a breathable mesh which distributes the weight to reduce on-head pressure. Also, the stainless steel frame is wrapped with a silicon-like material, which is very soft to the touch. Oh yeah, these telescoping arms act like a piston, but it will stay where you have set them to stay. It's very solid construction and it will not move unless you shake your head hysterically. When I wore it, it snuck well on my head without giving much of weight on my head. But when I turn around, I could feel the weight. But the headband does a good job at distributing the weight altogether. The ear cushions are also made from mesh textiles that wraps well around your ears. And it doesn't uh, stress you too much or give you so much pressure that you normally feel with many other headphones. They are magnetically attached to the headphone, so you have the freedom to choose the colors you want. But to have that flexibility, you will have to pay another $70 or so. But one thing is for sure, they surely seal your ears and you are going to see a lot of mix and match headphones. The digital crown lets you precisely control volume, skip between tracks, answer phone calls and activate Siri. It's a good addition from Apple Watch. Apart from the crown, the only other control is the button that takes care of the transparency mode or ANC, which means it doesn't allow you to control these. Either 100% ANC or 100% ambience, there is no choice. So let's get this connected and see how it really sound. And I'll let you know my impression around these in a while. So I've been using these headphones since a few days and I have tried comparing these with the Sony headphones too. And I'm going to tell you what this headphone is good at and what is not so good than the weirdest part of this headphone. Coming to the best part of this headphone is the design is amazing. 
it stand out and the build is great. But then comes the best transparency mode that you can ever get on any headphones, period. This is the best thing about AirPods Max. When you activate the mode, you feel as if you are not wearing a headphone at all. It sounds just so natural. If you are actually planning to buy, then I would say this could be one of the reasons. Coming to the sound quality, very, very good. Good bass, highs, mids, and the lows. Never felt the music distortion at the highest volume. So, you are a music buff? This is absolutely a great headphone that delivers. Qual quality is at par with many of the industry leading headphones, so no complaints there. Noise cancellation? It's at par with Sony's XM4. I wouldn't say this headphone beats Sony, but yeah, it depends on at what level you are using these ANCs. And Sony definitely has given the user control how much ANC you would want. You can have it 100% or 10% and I think Sony has about 12 levels of noise cancellation. So that gives you the freedom to customize for your needs. The Max does not give you that freedom. But overall noise cancellation is definitely good. Spatial audio is the surprising part here in this and it, it definitely does a great job give you an experience that no other headphones can give you at least for the moment but the catch is this can only work with Apple TV or Apple Music it doesn't work with any other so coming to what is not good is the price of course $550 for a headphone that is trying to redefine the luxury of headphones it's heavy and if you are sitting steady at one place and not moving around then it is a comfortable situation for you to wear it but if you start turning around moving around I think you can feel the weight. There is no power button and you cannot turn on or turn off. It is always on. So Apple says if you are not using it, put this back in the smart case so that it will conserve battery. The music still bleeds, meaning if you are playing music at high volume, people around you can hear the music. And I wasn't expecting that to happen with this headphone when I'm paying so much money. No 3.5 mm jack. These devices could be a companion for air travel, but without a 3.5 mm jack, I don't think you will be able to leverage the in-flight entertainment systems. But Apple has a solution. You can buy a lightning to 3.5 mm connector just that you have to pay about 39 dollars coming to the weirdest part here the smart case i just don't get it the purpose of the smart case it looks weird in the first place and it could definitely get dirty with the material they have used to make this and it doesn't really protect anything of the headphone except the fact that if you use this the headphone will go into a low power mode so that the battery doesn't get drained out it doesn't protect the headband which is the most delicate part and uh, most of the part of this headphone is completely exposed this level of protection with this smart case I i'm not really confident about putting this in my backpack not sure why apple gets something so simple like a headphone case so wrong when the next version of this headphone comes apple comes up with a different solution to protect this headphones a good looking smart case that protects the complete headphone who are these headphones for obviously for apple users this will work well only with apple devices whether the connectivity spatial audio or switching between devices and looking at the demand i don't think 550 dollars is a constraint for them but if you already have the best in the market paying less money i would suggest to continue with it and give this a pass this headphone is very good at every aspect of what a headphone should be but is it really worth the price it all depends on who you are and what you want this is at the top of the order as a luxury piece of hardware anyone and everyone can live without a headphone with spatial audio or an aluminium ear cup or the unique design but it also do everything for you
you don't have to do anything yourself. It's because of its computational audio technology that lets you completely hands-free. It does everything. It does everything for you. The equalizers, the ambience mode, the ANC mode, everything Apple decides for you. Apple knows what is good for you. So be it. Thanks for watching.